in Australia is over a thousand feet high, one and a half miles long, and six miles in circumference. It's the biggest rock in the world. Mildred, I always thought the biggest rock in the world was on your wedding ring. <laughs> Let's see, uh, which is the focus? I don't know why you bought such a complicated camera. Maybe it's this knob. Speak to us, spirits of the rock. We have come to hear your wisdom. What in the world are you doing? I gotta get a picture of those aborigines. Where's my light meter? Dancing rocks? Did you get the picture, Harry? Harry? Sure, but don't be too long. I'm just picking up a couple of rolls of film. Didn't any of them turn out? Sorry, mate. They were overexposed. You and your fancy camera. Now, no one will believe we saw those dancing rocks. Dancing rocks? Dancing rocks? Oh, it was nothing, uh, really. Uh, let's go, Mildred. He probably thinks we got rocks in our heads. Sounds like the legend of the Mimi. Uh, you, you? Well, I'm no expert, mate. But the Aborigines believe a magic spirit called the Mimi can move in and out of solid rock. A magic spirit? I'd sure like to see that. Come on, Scott. You don't really believe in magic. Well, that's impossible. How do you know? Santa Claus told me. I didn't believe in the Mimi myself. Night of superstition. But the strange thing is, this isn't the first time in the past few days somebody else has claimed to have seen them. Do you mind if I take these? Be my guest, mate. Digitalized recreation complete. Enhancement possible on photos 3, 8, 12, and 14. What's that? A Mimi? No, <laughs> a Mildred. You really think these rolling stones are connected with venom? I'm not sure, but it's worth looking into. We know Mayhem's in Australia for some secret mission. Brad, stay here in Alice Springs. Find out what you can from the local Aborigines. Bruce and I are going to the rock. There's gotta be a way. What? Huh. Got it! Say, Scott, wanna play catch with it? Not now. I gotta figure out how to talk Dad into letting me go to Ayers Rock with him. I was just going to ask you if you wanted to come with me to Ayers Rock. You were? If Venom's in the area, you'll be safer at the rock with me. Looks like you've got your way again. You won't regret it, Dad. I promise I won't get into any trouble. Yeah, you'll be too busy getting out of trouble. <laughs> holograph is working even better than I planned. The natives are convinced my dancing rocks are their silly rock gods. I, I feel uneasy fooling around with the native gods. Don't be ridiculous. It's just superstition, you pinhead. Give me five minutes with the aborigines and I'll scare them into telling us everything. Scaring them will only shut them up for good. You're as dumb as Dagger. Yeah. You're as dumb as me. Is that so? Well, the closest thing you'd ever come to a brainstorm is a light drizzle. Quiet, you two. I was thinking, why don't we use switchblade? You know, cover it with a hologram. Sky gods are more sacred to the natives than earth gods. My method has worked so far, and we're not changing anything now. One more session with the holograph, and I'll have what I want. There will be no interference from you, or from anyone. 
We're about 10 miles from Ayers Rock. How's it going on your end, Brad? It's going to be a piece of cake. All I got to do is turn on my ever-loving charm. Hi there. How's it going? My name's Brad. I uh, just arrived in town and, uh, say, do you know anything about the Mimi? Boy, let's see you charm your way out of this one. Maybe a song will calm him. How'd you folks like to hear some music? Go ahead, name any song. Why you talk about Mimi? I don't think I know that song. There's the tribe. Booyah, ho, ho, stu, stu. 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 All right. Looks like they're doing a war dance. The natives are restless, but no sign of venom. Don't worry. I've got a feeling mayhem saving the last dance for us. Wait for us here. Huh? Don't you want me to help? I don't know what we're gonna run into. Besides, I think T-Bob needs your help more. Whoa! Oh, no! Not again! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but if you get in a jam, just call her. Will do. Let's go. Scott, Ooh, what are you doing? We can get a better view of all the action from up here. Come on. Your dad said to stay here. Well, we're still here. We'll just be a little higher. What are you waiting for? No. You're not going to talk me into it. I'm not moving an inch. Sounds like the Mimi show's about to begin. Then let's grab ourselves some front row seats. I'm not going to one step further. I'm not going two steps further. Dancing rocks. Seems impossible, eh, Bruce? Fish can swim. Flowers can bloom. However, a dancing rock has no leg to stand on. You see it too? The light on the edge of the rocks. Only one person could be behind this. Miles Mayhem. There must be a lot at stake for him to go to all this trouble. Whatever it is, we're going to need Brad. Come on. That's it. I absolutely refuse to go 12 steps farther. But T-Bob. I've made up my mind. I'm going to... Sky God. What's that? Whatever it is, it sure doesn't look like a hologram. Think Mayhem's behind it? Maybe. Come on, let's get back to the Thunderhawk. Yeah! What's that? I don't know, but it's gonna hit us! Yeah! That just a teeny dent. Scott, are you dented? Nope, not a scratch. Whatever this thing is, it broke our fall. Skywalker. Skywalker. 
I think I lost two inches of titanium on that ride. Uh-oh. I hope that's all we lose. Oh! My intercom! Hope it still works. Careful. What? You might as well write off the hologram machine. It got smashed when the tent collapsed. Crap. Just when the Aborigines were ready to tell me what I wanted to know. I'll have to think of another method. Scott! Stay calm, t -Bob. You've never seen anything like you. I'm no big deal. Really? You'd be better off with a toaster. At last, the rock has brought us the Sky God. He has come on a shining chariot. We take him to the temple. A Sky God? Wonder who he's talking about. T-Bob, it's not polite to point your finger. Your weak gods have fled from the Sky God. Now you must leave our village. We'll uh, leave peacefully. You heard them. They're taking the boy to the temple. You shall see that my gods are not weak. The Tiger God shall follow you to the inside of the earth. Tiger God? How about that? I got a promotion. Hold on. Matt's back. I finally got a hold of Brad. Did you find Scott? No sign of him or T-Bob. But I found T-Bob's boomerang. Sure, it's T-Bob's? Yeah. They probably went to get a closer look at the Aborigines. Aborigines? Man, I can tell you plenty about Aborigines. I had a little trouble at first, but now we're buddies, right? There you go. G-Corn. <laughs> <laughs> What did you find out? You're not gonna believe it. Have you ever heard of the lost shrine of Arbor? Vaguely. It was supposed to be an opal mine the prehistoric Aborigines turned into a temple. But it's just a legend, right? Wrong. And guess where you'll find the shrine? Inside Ayers Rock. Good work, Brad. That's probably why Venom is here. The computer? Fill us in on the lost shrine of Abor. Over the centuries, the Aborigines filled the shrine of Abor with treasures as gifts to give their sky god. They believe his return will bring them eternal prosperity. Brad, get here on the double. I'm worried Scott's mixed up in this. We've got to find them before Mayhem does. Oh, this is the only way to travel. But why are they doing this? Who cares? It's a relief to be riding something that doesn't always turn into defense mode. This is our temple. That's the temple? Just a little cave? There's no fortune here. I better break the lousy news to mayhem. Well, what? Everything's going wrong. I'll just have to tell mayhem the lousy news in person. We give you all this, priceless treasures. Huh? But we don't... Take it! Priceless treasures might come in handy sometime. This temple shall be the Sky God's home forever. Wow! Opal? Diamonds? Gold? Oh, I'm rich! Scott! How much do you think all this is worth? I'd say in the neighborhood of a few million dollars. Oh, that's my favorite neighborhood. Hey, where did everyone go? What? Wait, we're still in here. Oh, let us out. Oh. 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 oh, forget it, t -Bob. I've got a feeling they've left us inside Ayers Rock forever. I'm worried, Bruce. From where I found the boomerang, I think Scott and T-Bob tried to climb Ayers Rock. You think they might have 
Slipped? I hope I'm wrong. But it explains the sparks we saw. That could have been T-Bob. I shouldn't have left them alone. Hey, hang in there. We'll find them. And maybe they can help us. Idiot, you were supposed to follow them until you found the temple. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. There is no temple. Just a crummy little cave. Did it ever occur to your pea-sized brain that the cave could be the entrance to the main temple? I didn't think of that. You don't think of anything. Don't listen to him. I happen to think you have rare intelligence. I do? Yeah, it's rare when you show any. <laughs> Shut up, both of you. We have work to do. We're going to blast our way into Hare's Rock. I was hoping you could help us. I'm looking for a young boy. Here's a picture. There, that's him. The Sky God. But you have come too late to worship him. We have sealed him forever in the rock. You must release the boy. He isn't the Sky God. He's my son. You are wrong. The Sky God arrived on a shining star that walked and talked. They make strange sounds like yay and woo. That sounds like Switchblade. We've got to stop mayhem. If Venom keeps blasting at the rock, we'll never get them out. A few more blasts and the treasure will be mine. Rex, get closer and use your lasers. Yeah, I can almost smell all that loot. Thunderhawks out of commission. No way to get to our masks. Matt, can you hear me? Well, at least part of it's still working. Brad, where are you? About 10 miles away. That's exactly what I want you to do. We're giving Venom a little surprise. What's going on? I don't know, but I don't like it. It's a giant! Dangerous as 
venom. And that's dangerous. Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids, Fox Kids.